In this Baku Talk news, another teaser trailer for the Gen 3 anime has been posted, and Gen 3 toys have officially been released in Canada. Subscribe and enable notifications to always on for frequent Bakugan news updates and more awesome Bakugan content. Hello and welcome to the Baku Talk News, I'm Haru Ren and before we start I just want to let you all know that a vast majority of you watching are not subscribed to this channel right now. So if you're genuinely enjoying the content that we do, please consider subscribing and enable notifications so you don't miss out on Bakugan news updates and more awesome Bakugan content, including the story we're going to talk about later in this video. I appreciate your support either way. Now it was previously reported that Hammerhead was getting a diamond toy as images were previously leaked out and confirmed on the checklist. Now to follow up on that story, Louis Chen has sent the, to Rayon 567 the character card for Diamond Hammerhead. Remember, diamonds aren't evos anymore, they are its own separate Bakugan, and we see that Diamond Hammerhead is a 100, 400, and 300, and Crash plus 300. So with the previously leaked out name of the symbol, we still don't know exactly what this ability does or how it works until the rules get released. But overall, just going by what we know right now, Hammerhead seems to be mainly a green attacker and very weak on the red stats. Now the regular version of Hammerhead does have 100 more power than the Diamond version, however the Diamond version is the one with the plus 300, so that is the big difference there. But on our next story, it seems Bakugan released another teaser trailer for the Gen 3 anime that showed some more of what the action animation will look like. Now this is the same style as the first teaser trailer that they released that gave us a bit of a look at what the anime will look like. Basically. In the second trailer, the Bakugans fighting are practically the main focus as opposed to the first teaser trailer of when they were just first discovered. In this trailer, we see scenes of Drago and Ventry fighting that we have seen in the analysis video that they've been posting. What looks like Drago doing a German suplex? I didn't know Drago signed with WWE. And the setting on one scene looks to be a gymnasium. That's pretty odd. Some of the animation actually looks a smooth 60 FPS, while there are some that are just really laggy. And Dan actually gets the eyes like Mia and Griffin did in their videos, which makes Drago turn into super big special attack mode. So maybe this episode is when they first encounter Nilius is also the first episode they discover they can actually do that? So my prediction is that it's probably going to be one of the first episodes of the series. But overall, nothing really is presented in this trailer that we don't already know from all the videos they've been posting. Even though they keep saying coming soon and it's going to be on Netflix but with still no time frame for release despite the toys already being found in stores across the US and even Canada now. Yes, I successfully segued into our final story which is Gen 3 has been found in Canada. Channel member JJC found the Bakugan Brawl Bros packs at the Walmart here in the cold back alley streets of Winnipeg. Yes, I know, Brawl Bros, the name sounds stupid. But the Brawl Bros packs are indeed Walmart exclusives, and with this find, the Gen 3 toys are actually now released in Canada. We've already known that they've been in the country for a while through Mage Kill, and while the other Gen 3 stuff like special attack singles, battle packs, and so on have not been found yet, the release of the Brawl Bros packs probably means we'll be seeing them soon. And after JC sent me these pictures, I immediately sent my brother to go grab these for me, and now I got more Gen 3 stuff to reveal while I wait for the arena from Amazon to arrive. So yeah, be sure to check out your Walmarts, and also be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss the review video on these, and also check out the previous Baku Talk News video to catch up on the Bakugan news, as well as check out the OEB series if you're interested in Gen 2 content. I've been Haru Ren, thank god for Rapid Fire, and Ventry is based. Bye!